Mr. Dalton? I'm Terrence. Nice to meet you. You're late. I know. Sorry, I had some car trouble, but hey, I'm here now. What the hell happened to you? What do you mean? You're all bloody and dirty. <laughs> no, I'm not. Your hands dripping blood. Oh, that. Uh, it's just a little cut. And you smell like shit. Look, you don't know what I went through to get here. You know, I'm not comfortable with this thing. I'm sorry, kid. No, no, 15 minutes. Just give me 15 minutes of your time. If you don't like what you see, you can kick me out, punch me in the face, do whatever you want. Please. All right, let's get this over with. 15 minutes. Thanks for having me over, Mr. Dalton. I, uh, I know you're probably super busy, so appreciate your time. Uh-huh. So, how are you enjoying your vacation so far? Vacation? Yeah, your RV. This is my home. Oh. Uh, well, how do you like living in an RV? <laughs> Spectacular. So is your wife not home right now, or? My wife? Does it look like I'm married? Oh, well, when uh, Terry and Rob referred me to you, they said that you had a wife. Divorced. Sorry to hear that. Um, well, so what do you do? <laughs> You thought I was one of them rich old assholes in a big old beach house with a beautiful young trophy wife, didn't you? <laughs> yeah, I guess I was wrong. <laughs> I don't know. You got the old part right, and you pretty much nailed the asshole deal. Now I'm retired. Mostly I just fish and I surf a little. Oh, you surf? Hey, I'm old. I'm not senile. <laughs> well, what do you ride? An old school 10-footer like back in the day. You see that picture? That's North Shore there. You surf North Shore? You're goddamn right I surf North Shore. Dude, that's like my dream spot. Oh, I surf Pipeline, Costa Rica, Barbados, Buenos Aires, you name it, kid, I surfed it. Wow. Dude, I don't know what you're doing here. I'd be kicking it in Hawaii. Uh, I was young then. Couldn't do that now. Hey, you want a beer? Uh. Tell you what, I just want to get one thing clear, Terrence. You know what that is? A very large knife. That is a K-bar. 
I've had that knife for over 50 years. It's the only knife I've ever needed. I've used it to cut fish, rope, wood. It's still sharp as a whip. It even saved my life one time. Do your dinky little kitchen knives do that? Uh, well, actually... I didn't think so. Now, I'm not going to be buying any knives today because I don't have any money. But even if I was fucking loaded, I wouldn't be buying a knife because nothing will ever replace my K-Bar. You got that? Yes, sir. Great. Show me what you got. Yeah. Now, you don't have to pay that all at once. I hope I didn't give you that impression. Most of our customers use a payment plan, but we're not a finance company. All of our payment plans are interest-free. We have a two-month, a four-month, and a six-month plan, all interest-free. So you simply divide the total cost by two, four, or six. If you put this set on the six-month plan, you can take it home today for only 170. Is that something you'd like to do today? I have to tell you, Terrence, when you came here, I thought you were crazy. But you got one hell of a fine product. Well, thank you, sir. But this is the only knife I'll ever need. Uh, well, what kind of stuff do you usually cook? Just fish, mostly. If you had a good boning knife or fillet knife, you might go for one of those. Well, I mean, maybe you'd like to start cooking more. You know, look after your health. You can't teach an old dog new tricks, Terrence. At least not this old dog. Well, I mean, Christmas is coming around. Maybe you'd like to buy one of our gift sets. No friends, except the fish. Oh, Mr. Dalton, an old dude like you's got to have some friends. Or what about your family? What'd you say? You've got to have some friends or family, right? I don't have a family. Sorry, did I say something I shouldn't have said? Man, you are a lot more pushy than most fucking salesmen I know. I know, I'm sorry. Why are you sending a grandma like you out there checking out the waves, huh? Having some fun with your butt, scoping out the chicks? Why the hell are you doing this? Well, my dad got laid off, so I had to get a job to help pay the bills. My parents got in this big argument, and my dad walked out on us. So... There's this conference tomorrow. It's like a big competition. I invited both my parents to it. I had a goal of trying to sell $15,000 so I could win this big trophy. I thought maybe it would help bring them back together. Jeez, it just sounds so stupid saying it out loud. Why would something like that sound stupid? I mean, it's not like it would ever work. You'll never catch a wave you don't paddle out for. Yeah. Well, you're my last appointment, and I'm $2,500 behind my goal, so... I thought since you lived on the beach, you'd have a big house and want to buy a bunch of stuff from me or something. Look, Mr. Dalton, I'm sorry for wasting your time. You all right, Mr. Dalton? Yeah. Yeah. Is it cool if I use your bathroom real quick? Put it back. <laughs> Nice meeting you, Mr. Dalton. Who's that? It's my son. I thought you didn't have any family. He hasn't talked to me in years. He's a kid.
getting married soon. Well, I'm gonna get out of your way. Thanks again, Mr. Hey, hey, Terrence. My son stopped talking to me years ago because he blamed me for the divorce. It tore our family apart. I'm sorry to hear that. I never want to see you go through what our family went through. So, how much would it be if I wanted to buy a complete sharp code kitchen for a wedding gift? Uh, uh, I, I thought you didn't have any money. I lied. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the most cutthroat push countdown I've ever seen. Both these fine gentlemen here have sold over $15,000. Give them a round of applause. Now, to quite literally carve their way into Sharp Co. history forever, please step forward if you have sold more than 15,000.